¿Alguna vez has tenido un plan que no sigue tu camino? Have you ever had a plan that did not go your way? By a show of hands, has anybody ever in this room ever had a plan that did not go their way, but worked out for the best? Okay. So let me share my experience with you guys. So this past summer, I traveled to Cuenca, Ecuador for my study abroad trip. Overall, the trip was a blast. I learned a lot about Cuenca and what it had to offer to me. So along with taking my two required classes, I went on many excursions, traveled to many indigenous communities, took cooking and dancing classes, and just spent a lot of time within the community. Todo fue muy brillante. Everything was great. It was outstanding, and I loved it. Until my trip back to the U.S. So let me set the mood for you guys. It was July 3rd, it was a Saturday. I was so ready to get back home so I could be with my family for the July 4th weekend. So as I was sitting in the Cuenca airport, I looked at my watch and it was 7.10, and we were supposed to board the plane at 6.30. So I looked at my roommate and I asked her, hey, why haven't we not boarded the plane yet? You know, I'm a little nervous, I'm shaky, like I'm ready to go home. And so my roommate told me, she said, Logan, be patient, you're gonna get home, just relax. However, I remembered my professor informing us about the possibility of our flights being canceled due to inclement weather. See, I forgot to tell you guys that in Cuenca, Ecuador, the airport is horrible, and they have a horrible tarmac, so any possibility of inclement weather, and they ground all flights. However, the first group, which consisted of both professors and like half of the students, see, they already left. So it was just the other half of the students and we were supposed to fend for ourselves. So after praying to my Lord and Savior, you know, I thought to myself, hey, look, you know, I'm gonna get out of here just fine. Everything's gonna be terrific and I'm gonna get home on time and be with my family. But boy, was I totally wrong. So somebody ended up screaming, Mira, 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 Mira la Ventana. Look at the screen. And I looked at the screen and like this nightmare just like flashed right between my eyes. My flight was canceled. Por que, por que, por que? No puedo estar. Yo estaba muy mal. I was so upset because my flight was canceled. And how in the world was I supposed to get home? So as I was walking to customer service, I informed my mom, Mom, I'm not gonna get home on time. And she stated right off the bat, Logan, this happened for a reason, but God's gonna take care of it. God has everything under control. But at that time, I really wasn't worried about that because I was just being really impatient, I was being selfish, and I just wanted to get home. So after four hours of being in the airport trying to reschedule my flight, and then after being kicked out by the security guards for being such a hassle, and then staying in the airport too long, I finally had lost all hope until Juan, the director over the school, came and presented to all the students two options. A, we stay at the Cuenca airport overnight and try to fly out the next day, but risk the chance of it being canceled due to more inclement weather, or B, take an eight-hour trip to Quito. So, with that being stated, we all chose option B. However, that was the most horrific experience of my life, and let me tell you why. So, at around one in the morning, something just told me to wake, wake up. So I wake, woke up and I remember the driver was fast asleep at the wheel. We were on the other side of the road and keep in mind, there's no highways in Cuenca, there's just roads on mountains. So we were about to die. And I remember screaming, Desbieta, 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 wake up, wake up. And everybody woke up, including the driver. Everybody looked at me as if I had gone nuts. And I literally told the man, and I told everybody, look, if y'all, if he falls asleep, we are all going to die. This is not funny. So I told him to stop at a coffee shop. And as he was replenishing on coffee and food, I told the group, half of us are going to stay up, and y'all are going to watch this man. <laughs> the other half, y'all can fall asleep, but we're going to alternate, because I want to go to heaven, but not right now. Like, I want to stay here on earth. So. Fortunately, we made it to the Quito airport at six in the morning. And after another seven hours of trying to converse in Spanish, 
yelling and screaming in the airport, running up and down the airport, trying to figure out what are we gonna do, trying to figure out our flights, our tickets. We finally make it and we get home to Charlotte, North Carolina at 1130 p.m. So our, my story, yes, it was full of bumps and bruises, twists and turns, ups and downs, but I learned a valuable lesson from this whole ordeal. So that night, as I was on my knees praying, I remembered my mom saying, Logan, this happened for a reason, and God is going to take care of everything. Just think about it. God takes care of everything. You know, sometimes we think we have a plan, and we think our plan is the best plan in life. But sometimes God, he sees a detour, like he sees a danger or something that's going to... um, present a danger to us so he puts us on a detour and sometimes you know at first it may not seem like the right thing and you're just upset and you're mad because you don't know why he put you on this detour but yet it it, um, seems it leads you to success later on in life you know three months prior to my flight this plane full of people the same day at the same time was departing from the airport during inclement weather and the plane crashed. Fortunately, everybody survived, which was a good thing, but it just comes to show you that God takes care of everything and you never know what he is saving you from. So with that being stated, I'm glad I'm here to share my testimony with you guys. And last but not least, gracias a Dios.